Irish restaurants in the Merrifield area. You can tell you more about those, but we can come full of that. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Fly. I am here to share the story of um, my family immigrating to the United States and how Africa has touched our lives. In 1982, we were sponsored by a family member to the United States. There's mom and dad, my three sisters, and two brothers. Um, we didn't have anything, two little bags of belongings. His family took us in. We were very grateful. But after two years of living with them, the financial situation became very difficult. So my parents were told they had to take our family elsewhere. They didn't speak English. They didn't drive. All they knew was to maintain two jobs, or even three jobs, to make ends meet to support our family. My mom was distraught. She didn't know what to do. At the time, she was Buddhist. And there weren't any temples around for her to pray. There was a church down the street from where we used to live. She went there for prayer. And she asked Mother Mary and Jesus Christ to please help our family, at least to have a roof over our heads. She was sitting there crying and crying and praying. And she said to Mother Mary and Jesus Christ, if you could please answer my prayers, I will convert and become a Catholic. Shortly after, some woman sat, a woman sat behind her, tapped her on the shoulder, and asked my mom, are you okay? What's going on? So my mom told her the story of my family and how we had to move out and she didn't know to go. And the woman was a social worker. Shortly after, she was able to find my family at home. And so our prayers were answered. My mom shortly after, got baptized and became a Catholic. And when we moved into the new home, we didn't have any furniture. We ate and slept on the floor. And my mom has a Vietnamese friend who lived in the same building with us, told her that there was a church in the end that helps poor families. Come to find out she came here to this exact location. And walked into where you store the furniture and all of that, she saw a sewing machine and she was really happy to see it. She somewhat knows how to sew clothing and that sort of thing. And met a gentleman by the name of George Davis. I think some of you know him. Um, she asked him if he could please, you know, get her a sewing machine. He asked for what? She said, so then she can sew our clothing, which has holes and that sort of thing in there. But he couldn't help her at that time. She was a little saddened, but she knows that she, it was very nice of him to even ask her what's going on. He found out where we lived. It was on a Thursday when she came here to look at the furniture and that sort of thing with her friends. That Sunday, Becky Davis and George Davis, they came over to our home and saw the living situation. Saw that the, the six of us, my siblings and I, my parents didn't have any furniture. After that, Betty and George brought furniture to us. We had bunk beds, we had mattresses, sofas, that sort of thing. We were very grateful. Shortly after, we worked hard, my family worked hard. We started owning our own businesses. We now have four businesses. One of my sister owns a salon in Georgetown. One of my sister owns a restaurant called The Sea Pearl, which some of you know. I, myself, and another sister and a brother watch over our restaurant called The Four Sisters Restaurant. My parents and another brother uh, watch over our deli. And so God has really blessed us. And even though we have become successful, we will never forget how ACA has touched our lives. And I want to thank everybody in ACA all of the pastors, the volunteers, everybody who has helped this program for so long and helped so many families when they are in need. So thank you very much, and God bless.